everybody and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how you can start your own abstract journal or your art journal or whatever you want to call it. And some of my favorite supplies that I've been using um, for my spreads. So I've been enjoying abstract art journaling so much. I've been having so much fun. So let's get started. Let's start with journals. You can use pretty much whatever you want. You can use watercolor journal. It's like paper made for specifically for like different um art mediums like different paints like you can use acrylic and it won't it's like thick paper almost like cardstock paper but you can use whatever journal you want it can be copy paper it can be blank paper line paper dot grid journal um but i made this this is my art journal that i'm currently using for my abstract spreads and i made this i did a video short on my channel on how i created the cover this is just a cardboard piece that I had saved from like a cereal box or like a crayon box um so I turned it into my my latest mixed media art journal and I've been I just love it so much I love the size it's the perfect size that that I've I always enjoyed um and I made it with cardstock paper so that nothing seeps through so it's like nice and sturdy okay so this is what I was talking about this is a mixed media like sketchbook and so the paper is like very cardstocky and it's, it's like pretty thick so you can use this as your art journal you can have big ones or small ones whatever size you like um but you can find that go to your local walmart or like the dollar store you would be able to find the journal that you need yeah that's the first thing is your journal because you need something to paint on uh, next is color i've been having so much fun with color watercolor has been my fav one of my favorite things and also just paints i've been loving just using paints um i was never a big fan of it because i always thought it was just messy but i've been enjoying the messiness that comes with art i love it i love just my hands filled with paint and like marks when i'm painting um it's just the process is just amazing for me i love it so this is the watercolor palette that i use i don't know what i think this is the mozart brand i don't know um I got this at Hobby Lobby. Also, I'll link a lot of the supplies in this video down in the description below so you guys can check them out. I get a lot of questions asking where I get my stuff, so it'll be in the description. Um, I also have like oil pastel crayons and like watercolor crayons. This is where you mark it and then if you put water on it, it'll like turn into paint. Um, and I have my oil pastel colors. I've been really enjoying just using different materials and mediums in my, my spreads like using paint and incorporating some watercolor and some oil pastels to make my marks. So I've been, I, I've just been loving using everything. Uh, I got these oil pastel crayons. Where did I get these? I think I got these at my local Walmart, it was in a packet of like, it was like less than $6. It was really good price, I thought. Um, but yeah, I have all these different colors. And I know some of you might see like all these YouTube videos of doing art and you think, oh, I have to go out and buy all this expensive materials and, and paints and all that, but you don't. You, I got these oil pastels at my local dollar store. It was a pack of 12 for like a dollar. So you can do that. You guys can just go out and find things, you know, go to Walmart and just get a pack of colored pencils or crayons. You don't need anything expensive. If you want to invest in that in the future, you always can. But these paints, I get these paints at my, at Walmart. These are like the 58 cent bottles. So that's what I get. I don't get anything really expensive. However, I did just invest in like gouache paints. I'm really excited to use those. They're coming in next week, so I'll do a video on that. Next are supplies like brushes and things like that. I have these. I've had these for years. These I got, it, it's a, it was in a pack in like, that I got from Walmart like a long time ago. I was very young when I first got them, but I still had them and I was like, oh, let me just use them. So I'm glad I never got rid of them or gave them away. Um, but i've been loving this little spatula thing i love this this i've been using um to kind of spread like my first layer of paint like my black or whatever color i use i love this i like the effect that it gives i like the way that it spreads you don't have to use this you can always use your fingers i love that i've been doing that as well just using my fingers i do that a lot with my white paint if you've seen in my short videos i use my white paint i kind of just spread it around do like little um blotches of white excuse me um and recently i've been using just materials that i have around my room or like my house so like this is a piece of cardboard and you can use this to kind of make marks so like i did that in a journal spread recently so in this spread you see this 
area these like splashes and marks of of yellow here 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 i used this piece of cardboard that i just cut out and i kind of just put the paint and i just went around and made marks like that so that's how i made my marks i also like to use uh, all the brushes are wet right now but just like interesting brushes like this one this fan brush i use this to make my marks for my my papers so that's what i do you can use whatever materials that you have or just save things like these are just some lids this is to a mason jar that i saved and i use this to make like big circles or small circles so i did in this example there's like this blue ring if you can see here here also that's what i use this for and you can get just get like different size lids and then you can have different size circles and and all that like this was a piece of what was this this was like a roller thing it but i saved this and it's like really good quality it's like i wasn't gonna throw that out i was like oh that's like the perfect size circle that i i always look for i also have a thimble i don't have it here right now it's not on my desk at least i can't find it but yeah um also a card this is a gift card to starbucks that i saved and i like this little pocket thing maybe i'll decorate it and paint it but this is what i use sometimes to like spread my paint I did that in this video where I kind of just put some white paint and just spread it around like that. That's another way you can spread your paints if you don't have brushes. You can use your fingers, you can use whatever, just be just get creative. So those are some of the materials. Yeah, I think I'm gonna paint over that to make it cute. Now let's get into like papers and just extra items like that. So I've been reusing my like paper scraps. This is from this is an old tea dyed paper that i had i also have this is the parchment paper i was talking about so i love getting parchment paper and then doing markings on it because i love the look that it gets it gets like this um transparency to it which i really really like uh and i love this this i did with my fan brush this is just from like brown paper bags so yeah just save your scraps don't throw everything away you can save your receipts or book pages or anything that's ripped or you know brown paper bags or anything that you're gonna throw out just grab them put some markings on them uh put color on it and just have fun and now you have like all these cool interesting scrapbooking pieces of paper to add into your journal just have fun i really like the way that this came out this is done with a stamp that i had but you can get like this i could easily do this and just you know it's like pretty much the same size and just like mark all over it you know kind of when it's wet just kind of spread it around and you know you can get a really cool effect like that okay so these are just my like plain basic colors there's no markings on them but oh i like this one this one's very pretty and for this stack i kind of just put this pin and i kept them all together so i like the way that that came out that way you know they're all like together and they're not separate all over my desk where i can't find them later on but oh that's a pretty color i should do more of these colors they're very pretty then i have my ones with markings on them so yeah you can use whatever material what i love about mixed media art are all the different materials that you can use in your spread like just using you know watercolor or paint or oil pastels or papers and stamps speaking of stamps i will do that one next i got this this is like my handmade stamp version um this is from a saltines box i got and then i wrapped some burlap or hemp cord around it and it gives me like this cool effect here let me show you so these lines right here that's how i got that effect and it's really cool you can just get creative like this save a box maybe add something thick and then you could have like your own stamp and and whatever it is you know i just put some paint and then marked it but um you know just get creative like that i just save this is just material that i just found and i just you know just made something out of it and it's just reused and i really like the distressed look that it gives with like the rigid um lines and it's not perfect i love that so yeah that's what i made my own little or big stamp <laughs> so i'm gonna be showing you the stamps that i've made these are ones that i made just with my stamp kits you can get it at on Amazon or maybe a craft store. But I really enjoy making my stamps. I love how they come out. They're not perfect. They have character to it. So I really enjoyed it. So these are the ones that I've made that I've been using a lot. Well, I've been using these two the most. I love these. These are so, so fun. I love... You can see them in all of my, like, abstract spreads. Let's see how many I've... Okay, I have one here. This is the flower. Then I, like, colored it in. I have another one there. 
and then here see these are the flowers that i use in like almost all my abstract spreads and it's just super fun i love them they're so cute here i have some more so i love the look that it gives again i'll leave the stamp kit down in the description below if you guys want to check it out but i oh i also like these little x's that i made they're super fun you can buy stamps go to michael's they have like stamps i don't know if my local Walmart doesn't have stamps, um, but you can also make them if you want. Maybe you want to get an eraser because this is pretty much the same material. If you want to just buy the, the carving tool, you can do that. But, you know, just kind of draw a little design on here and just carve it out and you have a stamp there. Again, you can just use objects for that, you know, like if you have an old lid to cap or like an old cap from a, a pen, you can use that and make like little circles. You can use anything to, to do markings. So, yeah. This has been one of my favorite things to use as well. Been loving it, it's been super fun. Next are my pens. I have been loving these. I use these in all my abstract spreads. This I use to like make um, markings, like wiggly little marks like all over. For instance, I love doing this. If you can see this like right here, like this messy circle and just like all of these little squiggly like signs and, and all of that. That's what I use my pen for. So you can see them here. Try if you if you see an abstract art spread, just try to look for the, the markings. So just like really wiggly and just random. So I have been loving that. These are just paint markers. I got these on Amazon. I've been loving it, the white. So I don't know, should I do an uh, an, an abstract spread with you guys? Why not? Maybe I should just do like one page. I'll just do this one page right here, so.
Okay, so this is my final spread. Doesn't need anything else. I love it, very fun, very creative. So guys, take a go at this um, abstract art painting. Do marks, practice what kind of markings that you like. Um, it took me a while to figure out what it is that I liked. What kind of marks I really enjoy just using random objects. I love my stamp, it's my favorite, and I really enjoy the colors. I feel like my trick, because when I was starting abstract art, uh, I would use too many colors. It would just be a mess. Actually, I'm gonna show you a spread. <laughs> oh gosh okay so this was like when i was first starting to do abstract art journaling and this let me tell you it's a bit much this was um my attempt at it and um yeah at the time i was like wow this came out so good but now looking at it i'm like okay what was i thinking i mean you might like it um but for me not so much not my style but you know looking back at it i'm like okay yeah my art has my art style abstract style has changed for sure I love this. I love using, keeping it a bit simple, um, but still having like a lot of elements, different elements. I've used paper. I used um, paint. Wa no, I didn't use watercolor. I used my pen uh, stamp. So I love the way that it came out. This is so pretty. And I feel like my trick that I've figured out for like the way I like my abstract spreads is by sticking to two like main colors at most three. Like I don't go more than that, but if I want to introduce other colors and I'll mix them up, like let's say I'm working with these two colors, I'll mix these together. And then if I want to add purple or blue, um, I'll add that into the mix, but I won't like just go in and like use this by itself all of a sudden. Um, I like to kind of keep the colors together that way the colors kind of are in the palette so yeah i love the way that the spread came out so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys got some tips on how you can start art journaling or your abstract art journal and gave you some ideas and, and tricks on what to use like what materials that you can use from your house so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you all in the next one bye guys